Operations at Chandrana Food Plus supermarkets continued as normal despite the revocation of its license by Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko over claims of racial bias. The supermarket's top management was held in a meeting for the better part of the day, even as Sonko failed to formalize the directive which he gave through a text message. And as Rita Tinina now reports, legal experts are faulting the governor's orders. At the Chandarana Food Plus Ngara branch, one of the supermarket chain's biggest outlets. Operations continued as normal more than 12 hours after Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko gave a directive revoking the supermarket's licenses following claims of racial bias. The manager, who declined to speak on camera, said the branch had not received any communication from the county government. Chandarana Food Plus operates 13 branches, nine in Nairobi, two in Mombasa, one in Eldred, and one in Nanyuki. The management held a meeting at its Lenana Place headquarters for the better part of the day. Sonko gave the directive through a text message to newsrooms on Sunday evening, but the governor has not made it formal yet. Sonko on Monday sent out two statements, one on the suspension of county officials and another on changes in his administration, but did not send any official communication on the Chandarana saga, despite inquiries from KTA News. Is Sonko sticking to his directive, or has he changed his approach in dealing with the Chandarana case? What the county government of Nairobi ought to have done in the first instance is to interrogate and give Chandarana an opportunity to respond to those allegations and then reach a conclusion whether this was uh, a marketing strategy gone wrong or whether there was in fact undisclosed um, communication that targeted or maybe uh, conferred preferential treatment mm -hmm. against a segment of the site which in, in each case would have, would have been unconstitutional. A leaked email exposed the chain's marketing campaign targeting white customers only. The email by the supermarket's marketing specialist Rima Patel read in part we are delighted to inform you that our supermarket chain would like to give you free vouchers to winners, raffles, best performers, runners-up, candidate in upcoming events, as we are now focusing on white people to attract our supermarkets. The email seen as a racist marketing strategy has seen the supermarket receive a backlash on social media. Chandarana Food Plus has issued an apology over what it termed as an unfortunate and insensitive narrative, saying the email was sent by one of our very new and recent hires in the marketing department. Her lack of proficiency in the English language is an easy way to justify this horrendous error. An error that has now left the supermarket chain, which began as a grocery store in 1964, fighting one of its biggest public battles. Rita Tinina, KTN News.